Hi everyone and welcome to Jubilee Model Railway. Uh, today we're going to look at a bit of scenery work. I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, those of you who have been following my videos uh, uh, know that I was going to do this video. been a bit longer than I uh, expected, but here it is. So today we're going to look at uh, using the ready rocks on uh, a layout. Now these are the easiest way to make a rock face or an embankment on a layout that I can think of. Maybe not the cheapest, but the easiest. And I always, I like it easy. Right, so today what we need is a pack of ready rocks. Uh, we need some just ordinary PVA glue. Doesn't really need anything else. We need some static grass. And also we need some of this underbush. Now I've got a medium green and I've got an olive green. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix those two colours together to make it look a little bit more realistic and look nicer when it's up. Now we come up onto the layout and this is the area that I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Now you can see all the gaps in the rocks and everything. That's how it's supposed to be at the moment and I'm going to put the underbush and the grass on these areas and also I'm going to put two more um, pieces of the rock face above where those two are there. Um, so yeah this is just a quick demonstration really um, some pe two people have asked for this so you know I thought I would uh, well I thought I'd do it for you So first of all, I'm just going to uh, open these bags. They can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, and just empty the whole lot into here. It should come out fairly easily. You know, I use a lot of this around the layout. It really comes in handy for covering little bits that you haven't done so well, you know, and gaps and things which you can't cover. So that's the uh, olive green just gone in there. And now we get the uh, medium green, and also do the same, get it out of the bag. Ooh, that came out a bit easy, didn't it? And now we just sort of mix them together to get a nice sort of... So they're all mixed in, so when we put it in, it'll look much... Oh, so I'm trying to escape there. I think it's made out of some kind of foam, I'm not sure. But as you can see... See, it, you can see the different colours in there. Just makes it look a bit more realistic, I think. Right. Now that that's all done, ready so I can uh, put it on the ready rocks. Uh, next bit is to actually put the glue on the uh, back of the ready rocks. Here is uh, one section just here. That's the front side, the nice side. Looks uh, all good. Now, if you turn it round the plain side, all you do is get your glue and run it sort of around the outer edge. So let's, uh, let's try this now. This is the first time I've done one of these videos, so just squeeze it in a line all the way around the edge. Like that. Pretty simple really, to be honest. This is how I've been doing it since I've tried these ready box, and then, oops. Then we go up this side like that as well. Now that piece is done, just put that to one side. And I'm also going to do, there you go, virtually the same piece, slightly different. We just turn it over like that, and we do exactly the same. Just put the glue sort of in a line down. There we go, and then come back up this way doesn't have to be neat, you're never going to see the glue are you, so that doesn't matter. Right, that's the glue in stage done. Now I'm going to go and put, um, put them up onto the layout. Now as I said, this, these are already been glued on, they've been glued on a while, see they're pretty, uh, pretty solid, this one and this one. So now all I'm going to do is um, basically put the new bit straight on top and if you want to put some glue uh, towards the middle of each section to give it that extra support you know that's up to you um, 
it's always nice to know that there's plenty of glue on it so it isn't gonna fall. So basically you just kind of make sure it's touching the one next to it and then you just sort of press it on. Now when it when it's gluing you will have to put something against it which I will be doing to make sure it glues on properly. So now we get the uh, next piece and just do exactly the same thing. Fairly straightforward to be honest. As I said, I like things easy and this is very easy and it doesn't take very long either. So all we do is do exactly the same thing, Make kind of make sure it's touching the other one. Just give it a little press so the glue gets in there. Now, um, if you leave them like that, they're possibly not going to fall off, but it's best See? See that move then? So it's best to try and um, get something that could maybe hold them up. Something a bit like that. So you just wedge that in there a little bit and see it well. It would be nice if they didn't move all the time. Um, that's kind of um, how you do it. See? Actually glue them up is a very simple, simple thing. Now. How long do you leave it? Um, long enough, because if you go putting all the bushes on around it when the glue is not dry, it could end up falling off. And that's just, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? So, we're gonna leave these two drying now and I'm gonna move on to the ones that I've, um, well, are already up uh, and show you how I sort of weather them up a bit. So uh, I'll get the, camera into a better uh, location for you and we'll uh, we'll go from there now we're going to um, start with the uh, greenery I suppose you uh, could say but I've made a bit of a silly mistake uh, in the last uh, scene you probably saw me put in the glue uh, pot and holding the two that I just fitted well I need the glue to put on you that was a bit of a silly thing to do wasn't it well We'll just hope that they don't fall off. They should be okay, but if you hear a bit of a smash during the video, you know exactly what it is. Right, we're going to start in this area here and sort of work our way across with the glue. It's always pretty simple. You just get the glue, squeeze it, and put it in. Just put it all in the gaps. If it, if it runs down the rocks, that really, really doesn't matter because you'll be putting more grass on there anyway. Just put it on the, on the edges like that. And we go sort of, I just lift the camera up so you can see exactly what's going on. And then just put a little bit more down there. Squeeze it in, see, see it running like that? That doesn't honestly matter. So don't go, oh my gosh, let's get a cloth and try and stop it running. Don't, don't, it doesn't matter. So now you get your bushes and just basically well, push them into the gaps. Uh, yes, bits of it will fall, but honestly you don't mind about that because you can always pick it up again. Um, just give it a little push um, on the top when you put it in. Just make sure it catches on the glue. Here we go, let's get some uh, more from my store. Got plenty of this stuff. Uh, there we go. Nice and simple. See? Really nice and easy. And it has quite a nice effect, which you can, well, you can see there. It can get trickier in these smaller spaces, but, you know, it's pretty easy, as I said. And the extra colours just help it look a little bit better, doesn't it? If it was all one colour, it would look a little bit fake, I suppose you could see. Squeeze it in there. See, the bits that have uh, the glue where it's run, just put a little bit more on it. Just adds a bit more interest, I suppose you could say. There we go. Ah, yeah. That's looking quite nice. Now I'm going to move the camera down a level so uh, I can carry on doing the next bit. Just going to put a little bit more glue in this area so we can uh, oh, oh. 
make sure it definitely sticks when it goes in. There we go, that should do. I'm just going to push this bits in to the bottom, so you've got gaps underneath the rocks as well. But as I say, if you get a gap on some bit of scenery you're doing, don't worry about it. Leave it and then you can cover it with these um, these bushes. Really helps. Trying to move things out the way so we can get this film just right for you. Um, so you get more of these the bushes. I just pop them by there. And then just pick them up and push them in the gap. See, look how quick and easy this, this you can actually do this in. Let's push it in there. See if we can get a little bit in there as well. Ah, yes. Looking good. Looking good. See, look how easy that was. And we got a little bit left but there. Just push it up against the rocks. Be fine. Right. That is how you do it. If I just come back, um, you can see if I go across there, those two rocks haven't got nothing in them. Let me move across, and uh, these ones have. But obviously, I got um, quite a bit more work to do all the way down there. Um, I'm not going to show you me doing the whole lot because it'll be here all day. So the next bit is the static grass. Now I'm going to show you very quickly how we do that. So we're going to need to uh, get our trusty glue out again. Now when you first start doing this, you thought, oh my gosh, what on earth am I doing? Chucking glue all over these nicely painted rocks. Trust me, it's fine. And this is does work. So all you do, you know, it doesn't have to be um, any Pacific way, you just sort of, well, put the glue on, like this. You know, put it round, it's up to you. You can detail it how you want. And it will run, as I tell you, do not matter about that, if it does. Right, that should be probably enough there now. Yeah, I think that's probably okay. Right, just for a couple of seconds, just for like a minute or two, let the glue run a bit. And then put the static grass on, which I'll do in a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back. Right, it's been a, been a minute or two now, and you can see the glue has definitely run down the rock. And at the moment, ooh, it doesn't look good, does it? Right, a quick tip. Um, if you're doing this bit near a line, especially with the static grass, uh, best is to get a sheet of card or like this this spare bit of walling and put it over the track especially if you ballast it because it this grass goes everywhere so what i'm going to do i'll just show you now lift the camera up and we're just going to slip this in like that now this will catch the grass that any fall over just a quick little tip there it's very easy now we get our um, static grass applicator. I know that's quite a posh word for me, and I'm from Wales. We don't use posh stuff like that. But it's a puffer bottle, okay? Very simple. They're from uh, Gage Master there. You can buy them in most uh, model shops. What you do, you p all you do is take this off. I'll just show you now if I can... Uh... Right, see? If you can see there, the static grass is inside. And now, because of the plastic this bottle is made out of, when you sort of shake it and squeeze it, the, stat the grass becomes static. Much better than that flat grass you used to get. So, let's basically chuck the grass at it. Now we just, you just do this. Just squeezing it like this. The more you put on, the darker the grass will get. So it's completely up to you how much of this grass you put on. If you want a darker look, well, it's up to you, as I said. You know, you just keep puffing away like this. You can see this glue still running down the rock. Don't matter. Get a little bit in there as well if I can uh, 
trying to get the best camera angle for you as well. It's not not the easiest thing to do, just doing the little bit of this run down there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. It's looking very nice indeed. Just a, li a little bit in there. And a bit on the corner here. You can see a bit of shiny glue still there. Right. How easy was that? Now, you can see the light green here really contrast with the darker green. That's quite nice, I quite like that. So if I just sort of uh, zoom in a tad, there we go. Um, I think that looks really nice. It looks very weathered and you can see all the growth running up the rock. And we've got also this bit here. Um, I will be doing it across the top. Uh, the reason why I haven't, I'm putting a piece of card um, in behind these uh, rocks I just lift the camera up slightly. Between the eaves and here, I'm going to put a little piece of card running the across there, so we can just have something to put those those bushes onto. Um, basically, well, that's how you weather these rocks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the camera off and do a little bit more, because um, you don't want to see me doing the whole lot. Well, I wouldn't have thought so anyway. Um, and then once I finish those bits, um, I'll come back and I'll say this is how it looks compared to what, well, what you see now. And just before I take a look at that, see, now if that was your track bed, you would be quite annoyed. Because hoovering this lot up is never, never a good idea because it could take the ballast up with it if it hasn't glued properly. So, you know, guys, if you've got a piece of card hanging around, um, just put it over the track. Saves you so much time messing about. Right. So what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to um, do a bit more on this area and then I'll show you what it looks like after I've done it. Right. Um, I would say it's about 15 minutes uh, from the last screen. Obviously it's only like a second to you. But now I'm just going to show you exactly how um, how it's looking now. As you can see, yeah, I'm looking happy. I'm looking happy. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Sorry, it. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. Let's go in a little bit closer there. You can see all the bushes. You know, it's up to you how much static grass you put on. I'm, you know, there's only a small amount on that bottom one. And then that one doesn't have much, and this one has loads. It's the way nature is. Nature is not perfect, is it? It just chucks a tree there, and that's an end of it. Can't do it. Well, you could cut it down, but you wouldn't want to do that, would you? So, we just go back a little bit. That's kind of how it looks. Uh, as I said, I will be putting the piece of card across the top, so once that's done, this area will look even, well, even nicer. And I've got to put the static grass on the... Um, on the actual park floor as well, all the way across there. And I'm good to gonna do sort of a mountain scene in the corner. Um, if you want me to uh, do a video on how to do a, a sort of a mountain in a corner like that, you know, put it in the comments and when I get round to doing it, I will show you. You know, guys, you you tell me what you want to see. That ha that's how you keep subscribers, I guess. So that's it for today. I hope this has been very helpful to you. Let me know in the comments, um, you know, how you think this video was, if it was helpful to you or wasn't. I hope it was. It'd be a bit of a shame if it wasn't. Um, the next two videos I've already planned, just before we go, uh, we're going to have a look at the Collas fleet of Locos here at Dewberry Road and also we're going to hopefully have the first running session on the layout coming up uh, very soon. So that's it for the Ready Rocks today guys and uh, I'll speak to you all again in another video very soon. Bye everyone.